Hey guys, Bando here, and today I just want to talk about the Rogal Dawn Battle Tank that's just been announced. Um, well, here it is. This is the Rogal Dawn Battle Tank, a in-between heavy to super heavy tank, which is approximately four size, four times the size of a Lehman Russ. And there's good and bad about this model. I'll start with the good. This model is effectively style-wise everything I'd want to do to a Lehman Russ. It has got a more realistic sort of layout. Uh, the wheels actually have some suspension on it so that the tracks would physically work, unlike the Lehman Russ, which is armor is so flat to the ground it couldn't. Um, the turret is bigger um, and can actually fit people and the gun in it. Uh, and the gun and, and, and the tank overall is just better scaled. And this is where we get to the problem. It's 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 a heavy, super heavy, whatever they're going to classify it as, tank. It's not a Lehman Russ. And that means that the turret isn't scaled properly. And there are a multitude of other issues. For example, uh, on the front here, we can see it has nipple guns. It has nipple guns right on the front. That would have no way of moving because they're hard up against the tracks. Which means whoever's targeting them can't move them left or right because there's no room for the gun at the back behind the barrel to swivel. They also look fucking stupid. Um, yeah, they just... <laughs> don't need them. Get rid of them. Gone. Moving up a bit. Um, the belly gun, or whatever we're going to call it. Don't need it. Get rid of it. It's ridiculous. Maybe replace it with a pair of twin-linked las cannons or twin-linked heavy bolts or something like that. Um, you know, if that's going to be your hull-mounted gun, that's not for um, a mantlet style or whatever you call it siege gun. You know, this isn't a stug. The driver's viewport that's massive. That's easily like two thirds of a meter, if not a meter wide. It's huge. Um, which ruins the scale of the tank. Make it half the size. The sponsons are not needed. I mean, I get it. They're there. They're, it's the styling of 40k. It's the Imperials. Yeah, I get it. Personally, I would have got rid of them. This is a heavy weapons platform. This is designed to kill heavy weapons. It's not designed to use multi-melters or flamers or heavy bolters to take on infantry. That's for your other tanks. That's for your infantry to defend this thing and a double barreled battle cannon or whatever the oppressor cannon with an auto cannon now the oppressor cannon with the the coaxial auto cannon I like that works for me and I don't mind the twin battle cannons more or less twin guns are a bit stupid they've never worked historically it's always faster to just have a single gun because it can be reloaded and shot quicker um, double guns just you know, you burn through your ammo twice as fast and don't get as much uh, any benefit from them really that's why they've never taken off in real life I like the fact that it's got two turrets uh, sorry, two turrets two hatches two, two like cupolas um, and the crew looks good the guy in the back with the the stubber looks great this tank suffers from designitis whoever designed this tank clearly does not have the passion for military equipment that like the Perry twins did the Perry twins when they were designing um, you know Warhammer kits back forever have a clear and identifiable passion for military history which is why things like the Empire range in fantasy was so detailed why a lot of the Imperial Guard stuff looked the way it looked because they looked at something, they knew, they understood what something was and why it was there. And they didn't just slap it on because it looked cool. And that's what this is suffering from. It doesn't need a minigun in the middle of it. Just because it looks cool. Another good thing I like about it, it comes with a lot of stowage, extra running wheels, that sort of thing. I love stowage. I'm a military modeler. I could never have enough stowage. Um, hopefully that stuff comes on a separate sprue. And, um, you know, we can pick that up separately because if I do, that's going on 
all my heresy kits. Um, one thing I'm not a fan of is in the article that it's announced, they don't show it in comparison to like a regular Lehman Russ, as far as I've seen. I've seen some Reddit knockups, and yeah, okay, it's about four times the size. Fine, whatever. It would have been nice to see it at least alongside it. Um, if I'm going to be brutally honest, all in all, I give it maybe a six out of ten. It's like the like the the uh, Primaris tanks. It's too many weapons. It's like a Tonka toy to me. It's one of those kids' plastic toys where they've just got look how many guns we can slap on top of it. Um, it's starting. Couple of, starting to feel a little less believable. This is the guy talking about plastic toys 40,000 years in the future. Um, yeah, I just... <laughs> yeah, good kit, hopefully. Um, I'll have a look at what it looks like when we see the sprues. Um, but all in all, yeah, it's alright. Right, that's it. I'm not going to waffle on about anything else. My name's Bando. It's breakfast with Bando. Have a good day.